We got the NHP 5000 all set up, ready to go. It's got the LPS linear pallet system. Can't wait to show you all the things about this machine. Hey, it's Christmas time, so we got a couple shunk tombstones that we're gonna get thrown on this machine, so let's check it out. Bam! That's not working. It's like a man. When you need something destroyed properly, call Barry Setzer Forklift Services. I don't think anything cleans as good as your hand does. You always gotta wipe it with your hand. Wipe your tail with one piece? Oh yeah. So we need to link the pallet system with the machine so everything is ready to go. So I'm just gonna hit the matrix button, go to my screen. Here's my matrix screen, I'm gonna hit start. Now that's synced up, ready to go. You can see the program just constantly runs in the background. But when we turn it off, we go back to our regular screen. So I'm just gonna call up my first pallet. Let's go to manual mode. We just told it to call up pallet 104, so it's gonna grab it out of there, bring it to our loading station so we can get our first tombstone put on. All right, so we're just gonna get this stone, make sure there ain't no burrs on it. That way we can get our tombstone mounted on. All right, so we got everything cleaned up, ready to load this tombstone. All right, set her down there. Now this one didn't come with bolt holes on the sides to really mount it to these side plates. So I really wanna make sure that I'm butted up against this side and the back side. What's pretty cool about this station is normally they either go 90 degrees or 180. This one can actually lock in every 45 degrees. So that's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna put the first two bolts in. All right, so I went ahead and, and torqued these down, but I wanna make sure that this is true with my X axis. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the machine, run an indicator across here, and then if it's off, I can just loosen these bolts up, knock it around where I need to. But I'm, for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and torque these down. So this tombstone's pretty cool. We got the grid pattern on one side. This is typical of what you would see. And then on the other side, we got the Vero S systems, completely modular. This is super cool because you can put vices on and off, you put sub plates on and it quickly locates everything. So you don't have to spend a lot of time indicating. So you just quickly load it on and off, everything's aligned. Now I'm not gonna go into super fine detail of all this stuff. You guys know that in future videos, we're gonna be showing you everything there is to know about this machine. We'll be going through everything in fine detail, but here is where we would actually assign a program, fixturing all of that to this pallet. You do it right here at the LPS, not at the machine. So that is one thing that's different when you run a system like this. But for now, I'm not gonna do that. I just wanna get my tombstones on and then I can go back and assign programs, assign fixturing and do all that. But so I'm just gonna send this one out, call the next pallet up, get this next tombstone put on. So I'll close out my screen here and I've got my manual screen up and this is basically where you want to go from, where you want to go to. So my from station, is I'm gonna go from my loading station and two, I wanna just put it back home. So before I hit this start, I need to close my door. And now I tell it that the setup is okay. That's ready to go. Now I can put it away. You see it turn from B, which means busy. Now this is grayed out and that's because there's no program assigned to it. If I did have one, you would kind of see the program number and a little bit of the name. All right, so now that's ready. Now I'm just gonna call my next one up, which is gonna be 204. So I'm gonna go from 204 to my loading station. Now, if I just hit start here, it's gonna give me alarm and tell me that the loading station is not ready. And that's because I haven't told it here that, hey, it's okay to bring this in. So I'm just gonna hit call. Now that lets it know that it's ready to call a pallet up. So now we can hit start.
All right, now we're just going to rinse and repeat. We're going to get this one cleaned up, get our second pallet put on. Now we've caught some flack in the past with some of our viewers that's like, oh, that's a brand new table. There's no way I would ever stone that. You always want to stone your tables. I don't care if it is brand new because what if it got dropped? What if it got hit? Just because it's brand new doesn't mean it doesn't have a ding on it. It's not going to hurt it to stone it, but it will hurt you if you don't and there's something sticking up. So it's best just to go ahead and stone it and know that this is perfectly flat. And by the way, you can pick up these stones on our store at titansofcnctooling.com. I had to get another driver. That last guy was too dangerous. So now we got our second tombstone mounted. As you can see, this is a double-sided tombstone as well. The big difference here being that we've got Vero S on both sides instead of just one. So this super modular tombstone. So now that it's mounted, we'll go ahead and get it staged in the machine. I'm just gonna call it from loading station back to 204, hit start, it takes off. So now I got my tombstones loaded. Guys, make sure you're subscribed. You hit that notification bell because we're gonna be showing you everything there is to know about the LPS 5000. You're gonna to wanna to see that because you won't believe how easy it is to integrate this into your machine. Now we're gonna be going through scheduling, planning, how you can lay out your entire year's worth of planning all using this machine. Know if you're gonna hit those due dates. Know if you're gonna be missing on anything. This thing is seamless with the tool life management. We're gonna be going through the lights out mode, so how you can run completely unattended. You're not gonna to wanna to miss all of that, so stay tuned for future videos. See you next time.